Hey everyone, welcome to Lara Tips. In our previous videos, we completed cross section for products and also we added some images and deleted them. But one major thing that we haven't done is added pagination to our table. I have seeded more than 100 records on the products table and now let us implement pagination. And before starting this video, I'd like you to introduce to this whole series sponsor, which is Cloudways. Cloudways is a managed cloud hosting platform which focuses on your business and avoid all the web hosting hassles. Cloudways will take care of the server setup for you. And you can go live in minutes using the Cloudways. You can select any one of these applications like WordPress, Laravel, PHP, etc. And you can host those in any one of these server like DigitalOcean, AWS, Vulture, Google Cloud or Linode and also you can scale your server size as you need using the simple and easy user interface. You can use the link below to subscribe to Cloudways and if you do so you will get $15 as a credit and you can use that $15 to set up a base server and it will last you almost a month which means that you are getting one month free. We'll implement pagination on the table component so that the pagination will appear on each and every modules like roles, users, categories, everything. Now in order to grab the pagination UI let us go to this Tailwind Elements website and just search for pagination over here. We'll take this first one just show code click on copy and now Let's go into product index page and here we have this table component and inside this table component let me go here. So let us here add this pagination okay. So here I will say pagination. Now let me initialize this view 3 and I will add this over here. I will remove this div the top and the bottom div like this. Now let me add this over here in the table let me just import it like this and we'll just go over here and let me create a div and here as a pagination like this i am already running here npm run watch if you look here and now if i come here and refresh then we'll see this pagination over here let me just do here like this class let's say py two and here class flex and justify center so that it will come in the center now we can see this over here in the center now let us look what we get over here in the view js let me just zoom it in the view in this index here in the data we'll get this in the items we'll get data links and meta and we are looping through this items.data over here and let us pass this links because inside the links sorry not this links but inside the meta we have this links and we'll get all the pagination data over here like you can see your previous page number one page number two all the data we'll pass this links to the pagination so we'll say items.meta.links so here i'll say links equals to items.meta.links now inside here in the pagination we can just do define props and we'll say here links and it will be array so now we'll get previous next everything so we don't need each and every one of these so i'll remove this and i'll remove this rounded also because it is repeated and instead of a tag we'll just write here button and i'll just remove this thing from here and will also be button like this now let us loop through these links okay i'll just go here and b for link in links and if you just look here inside here inside the links object we have this label thing for each and everything the label will be unique so i'll just say here key equals link dot label and instead of previous we'll show label here so i'll just say here v dash html equals to link dot label like this we need to do it html because there are something so let me just show you that before so let's say link dot label like this and i'll just remove it from here okay i'll format it and now if i come here and refresh then you'll see here like this yeah these things are the html entities so we'll just do it html like this and 
if we see here then it will show us this arrows over here and you can see here we are already seeing so nice pagination now here when we click on this button we want to visit to that page so we'll create a function over here go to url and we'll accept a link and here we'll say inertia dot get and we'll pass link dot url inertia is imported over here and let me just say here import inertia from this not like this but inertia from this and let me remove this from here after this we'll say here at the rate click go to url and we'll say link like this and we'll also say click dot prevent because if this button is inside a form then it will try to submit that form so we'll do click dot prevent go to url now let me just refresh we don't need to refresh because i'm using bit so it'll automatically refresh now i'll go here in the page 2 then you can see here page 2 and we are seeing this page 2 data similarly if i go here in the page 5 then we are again seeing the page 5 data but you can see here this thing is not being highlighted let us do that so we'll just go over here and let me search for pagination and here we have this links and we'll get i active over here if it is active then will show a different color so currently we are in the page 5 then we'll see here sorry here this is true so let me just go over here and let's say class equals to and here we'll pass an object and let's say if link is active then we'll do something and the background will be blue bg blue 500 like this after this we'll be able to see that active one in the blue color here we go but we need a white color over here so i'll say here text white like this but if i come here then i'll not see the white because we have this text gray 800 over here so if it is not active then only we want to show this text gray okay let me cut it and let me remove this one also from here and let me add that over here and let me just say here not link dot active and now we'll see this in the white color and others in the black color but if we go here in one then we want this previous to be disabled so how do we know this so here in the pagination we cannot see anything over here let me click on over here in the index and if i just search for pagination and click then it will show so here in the links if you see here the url is null so we'll say if the url is null or the current one then we don't want them to be clickable so here we'll say let's say text dash gray let's say 400 if let's say um, if link dot url is equal to null or current one is the active url so let's say or link dot active so in this case we will show this gray color so if i come here then still we are not seeing the gray color because this thing is taking precedence so i'll just copy this thing and paste it over here and if not this then we'll show this 800 otherwise 400 and if it is active then we'll show 500 so now we can see this it is a gray color but we can still click on it because it is not disabled so we need to make it disabled so for this let us extract this into a method so let us say here function is disabled we'll pass link over here and we'll return this thing so i'll copy this and let me say here is disabled and here we'll pass link let me remove this brackets from here and also let me again copy this and over here let's say disable equals to is disable and if it is disable then we'll say here cursor not allowed now if i come here and try to look here this is showing me this icon 
and here also it is showing me this icon and we can click on page number two now if i come again here then it is showing me disabled over here and this thing is not disabled and if i just show you this by inspecting then you can see here disabled is present now we have fixed this but there is one more thing that we need to do so here if i just say here let's say l o then you can see here the page is not being reset page is still in the page number two and you can see here whenever i source suppose let's say whenever i source there are less than 10 items then it will not show so let me just so this is in the page number two yeah so let me just search for this thing okay and now if i just do it like this yeah it is present but will not be able to see it because we are in the page number two but if i click here again and here and source for it then we'll able to see it so let us fix that we can fix this by just resetting the page to one whenever we source for something so for that we'll go in the use filters and here we'll pass this filters value so i just do it like this filters value and page will be one every time if we source for something from here then it must show the page one okay so now let me again do lo and go to the page number two and okay so let me refresh it and if i come here and let me just search for this one okay and we are in the page two and if i just search for it then we'll find that and we'll go here in the page number one also there is one more problem here we are seeing this we don't want to see this if we have only one item so let us fix that also let me go here in the pagination then here we will always have three items like this if there is only one page so let me go here in the table and let me just show this b dash if and i'll just copy this thing items dot meta dot links dot length is greater than three if the length is greater than three then only we'll show it so now it is gone similarly guys so here this here we have this thing over here but if we refresh then that is being gone but in our previous videos whenever we did that it used to remain open this filter whenever there is something here in the filters so let us fix that so let me go here in the u product index and here let me go in the category index we have that over here this is filled let me just do it like this and here in the add new we'll add this so here in the add new we'll add this so like this and now it will automatically be visible if i refresh then also this thing will be visible but if i just remove it from here and refresh then that is not gone because there is still this page over here but if i click on the products then it should go because there is nothing over here so if we just search for is field over here so like this then here it is saying object dot values and some like this and here we'll filter the page okay so let's say let something equals to filters dot value and we'll just search for page and rest like this it will just exclude the page and then only get other data so this rest we can just add it over here now if i just come here refresh and now if i just search for page number two and again let me just search for this thing let me go over here search it then we can see that and if i again refresh then we can see this drop down and again if i remove this and again refresh then that thing will be hidden so in this way we can easily do filtration let's say for any other thing that we don't want this to be open then we can easily write that over here or we can easily pass that from here also if anything comes up then we'll do that in the future videos it is a computed property but we can change it to a method in that case so that's it for this video guys. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye.